In this second video, we keep with our example on uh, the primaries of the Democratic Party and we look at brand associations. So in this first graph, you can see which are the words that textually associate with the name of the four candidates. And so which is the brand, the textual brand image of the four candidates. If I click on one, I can see its main associations and even for each word I have a score. So Democrats and elections will be words that indeed will be top associated with every candidate here because we are talking about an election. So we might also be interested to understand which are the unique associations, those that are with a candidate and are not with the others. So those that distinguish a candidate from the others. So we can look at the image of the brands in terms of top associations and unique associations to get a, a more complete pictures. So um, if we click here, for example, on Warren, uh, we see that the word Cooperman is only associated with this candidate and many other words and so on. So we can get um, a specific image for this candidate. Of course, the unique associations are less recurrent usually than the top associations. Lastly, while looking at the main graph, for example, we see a peak here, November 13 for Biden and a drop of importance for the other candidates. So we could be curious and see uh, what happened on November 13. So we could either read the documents that were published on November 13 or maybe better we click on most frequent words. Here if you click on the full period you have an idea of the most frequent words in all the period of analysis, but we could also look for November 13, click here, and see what were the main uh, discourse themes, discourse topics uh, in this day to try understand why there was that change in importance that we saw before. We can also see trends of unique brand associations, so just considering the number of unique associations over time. But more importantly, we can see what is the brand image similarity of each brand and during each period. We can consider the top words that associate with each brand. I consider usually the top 300 words, but you can change this number. And we can see overall which brand image is more similar to the other. So in this graph, the vertical and horizontal axis have no real meaning apart from the distances that they produce among the different brands. So here what you have to look at is that Biden, it's quite far away from all the other nodes. The closest one is Sanders and uh, one that it's more far apart is Warren. So we see which images are more close to one another. Sometimes these nodes also overlap. And you can also see in different periods of time how this evolved, how this changed. So for example, there is a specific day where the image of uh, Biden was more similar to the one of Batijek, but this was like an exception. And even Sanders and Warren were very close in this day, November 21. But then if we select other days, the picture is different.